Hello. Good to see you. All right, Revenants, welcome back to Code Vein, and uh, sort of an interruption, but not really, to the road to 100 here. Um, <clears throat> as uh, Mito is only uh, possible once every round, uh, I need to be careful with what build and setup I go for against him to kind of show you guys something. So um, today, what we're going to be running here is uh, we're going to be running the uh, Graceful Prominence to go for as much um, drain attack uh, kill here as we can. I have no idea how many attacks it takes. As you can see here on the map, um, I was uh, indeed um, uh, investigating in there a little bit. I had uh, played around with the idea of the Twilight Claw and some other uh, different uh, veils, but the uh, Graceful Prominence seems to be the, um, the uh, veil for the job here. And uh, I think, and if I calculated it correctly, it'll be uh, four and a bit um, uh, back or uh, drain attacks so technically it'll be five that it'll take to kill him uh, so hopefully we actually get those five and we have to get it wi uh, without getting hit at all um, and uh, that so if we get hit it's an automatic reset and we'll probably die here in the process so uh, wish me luck and uh, let's go okay now uh, this is a a uh, very intense fight with Mito, um, to say the least, and uh, it uh, definitely is um, <laughs> not something you want to be uh, going for all the time, as it is uh, very, very RNG dependent of when his uh, stagger happens and when he goes down into stagger. So it will take three um, drain attacks to uh, put him into stagger, and uh, so it's going to be uh, really difficult to uh, say how fast we get out those uh, three staggers, um, or those three attacks to get him into stagger. Okay, so here we go. Good, and let's go. Okay, so we can put the first one through his dome right here. And as soon as he starts moving, one. Okay, and two. And three. There we go. Okay. Oh, that, that doesn't count. Okay, and here he goes. So we've had three, there's four, and five. Okay, perfect. Uh, we got it on the first run. Um, even better. So yeah, five, uh, five drain attacks. Oh, man. You, uh, you can hear how nervous I am. My voice is shaking and everything. So yeah, uh, five drain attacks. And uh, so I calculated correctly uh, from my testing and everything and from his uh, HP pool and how much uh, damage we were getting out. So you saw we were getting about 21,000 uh, damage on a uh, drain attack there with him. And it takes uh, a couple of charge boosters and uh, and this setup here. And um, uh, let's go ahead and see. Um, uh, we'll we'll uh, get to the next area here. And then we will um, go uh, look at kind of what the value is on um, here with uh, Jack and everything. Um, but uh, so I had originally wanted to uh, do a, um, a uh, bayonet kill with him, so there we go, we uh, used the lost bayonet and um, <laughs> uh, for uh, during the kill, um, and uh, so that was kind of a uh, cheap way for me to get out of uh, playing with, uh, with that bayonet, um, and so uh, yeah, <laughs> no harm, no foul, but uh, we definitely um, needed a quick and easy simple way to get through Mito. Uh, it's not exactly a quick and easy simple way, um, however it uh, definitely is a fun, uh, great way and a great method and a great mechanic uh, to go for to get through him, uh, to say the least, and uh, I was uh, planning on this uh, to take a little longer than what it did, um, however uh, getting through it in one and done here to, uh, to get past was definitely not what I was anticipating at all. So very pleasant to, uh, very pleasantly surprised there to see that happen um, that way. And uh, now we are to the uh, government outskirts. So uh, I'm going to have to take a break from this uh, because my nerves are kind of shot. So there's no way I'm going to be able to um, <laughs> continue on here. Uh, so let's go back to um, somewhere like... Uh, sure, the uh, underground entrance will be fine, and uh, we'll check what the value is here with Jack, 
um, on our uh, blood veil, and uh, these guys will kind of be a good uh, a good um, uh, kind of data point here to check uh, what kind of value we were getting out on Mito. So we were, we know we were getting about twenty twenty one, roughly around twenty one thousand uh, damage on uh, on strike, uh, which is pretty good. And he has about ninety six thousand uh, damage, which made me uh, think that we need at least five um, five shots on him. And uh, I was I was correct there, so that was very good. That uh, we have uh, we have that uh, chance there to uh, to put him down. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, see what we get up to here. That's a good idea. Now uh, you can you can go for some uh, other uh, builds and such, um, or other blood codes to uh, go for this. However, um, the reason that I went for uh, Queen Slayer is because uh, the damage coming out of uh, Final Journey is higher than uh, oh, um, pairing up with the uh, other uh, other gifts in the game that uh, increase your striking damage, um, and so that was okay to go for that. Okay, so now we are down all the way here, so 21-28, and a drain attack of 57-86. Okay, and so let's see what, uh, what the damage is here. So 31,000 on this fella, but uh, it's not fair. Um, so you can see there that uh, the damage coming out from this guy is pretty considerable. And if we go for the um, uh, Twilight Claw here, we get about 29,000, so about 30,000. It's about the same. Um, but uh, but uh, the, um, the Graceful Providence just had a little bit more, um, just a tiny bit more damage that it was able to put out on uh, Mido than um, than the Twilight Claw, so I uh, I went for the Graceful Prominence, um, but that's good to see there uh, that uh, that that's the damage um, that you can get out. Now I have a uh, a theory that whatever um, your uh, Blood Veil damage is there, it uh, is multiplied by ten or or nine, and uh, then that value is uh, what's displayed. Um, up here, so if we do a drain attack right now, it would be like 14, uh, like nine times this value or something. Somehow it's uh, it's it's in there, um, and then that's how you uh, calculate uh, what your what your damage is um, out on the enemy. Now that doesn't take into account um, resistances. It doesn't take into account bonuses like swift destruction. It doesn't take into account uh, things like merciless reaper. It doesn't take into account any of those things. Um, and so it's kind of a uh, it's kind of a, a delicate number there to deal with, and I I, I believe it's like a nine uh, value, a nine factor, because everything on the blood veil seems to be multiples of nine and four and a half. Um, so I wouldn't doubt that the uh, drain uh, that the um, the damage on a charge drain is times nine, um, as well as the uh, drain attack is as well. So that's that's my theory at the moment, is that uh, whatever value is uh, straight up here is uh, multiplied by nine and that's the value that you get out on uh, whatever whatever enemy it is you're, you're attacking and then other things like uh, merciless reaper come into play uh, overdrive um, uh, heroic fang swift destruction survival instinct all these things that uh, increase damage in uh, various additive and multiplicative ways uh, those come later so anyways thank you all for watching and uh, i'm glad that we got the five shot on mito there uh, with a blood veil and uh, we were able to put him down so we'll continue the road to 100 next uh, tomorrow and I'm gonna go take a break so we'll see you all later